Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown today. Got a really cool squad with a Choice Specs Typhlosion on it. It's able to blow back every Pokemon in the tier besides Toxapex and Chansey. Heatran can switch into Eruption, but because of the potential of Focus Blast, which we do have on the set, as well as maybe even Hidden Power Ground, that's not a safe switch in, so they have to predict around it, unless they have those two Pokemon. Gastrodon is not a safe switch in due to Hidden Power Grass, so that's a very helpful here too. We have Max Special Attack and Max Speed Timid. The Timid nature allows us to speed tie with Pokemon like Manaphy, as well as Max Speed Timid Defensive Zapdos, which is very good. Pairing it with a Tapu Bulu, because of the grassy terrain support, really helps out our Kurtana, and it also is able to go ahead and take water and ground type attacks that Typhlosion hates right here. Coco is a defogger and the Z-move user for the team right here. Also provides us U-turn momentum into Typhlosion, which is very helpful. Scarf Gratana is a late game cleaner. We got all four attacks because we don't need defog, since that is on our Coco. Defensive Mega Scissor right here is a secondary win con. And then finally, our Rocker is a defensive Landers T with a Rocky Helmet right here. So that's going to be the squad. It'll be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out. And let's go ahead and get right into the games. Oh lord, I got a game right here and my opponent does have a heat trend. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind when clicking fire type attacks with my Typhlosion. Not really that good of win conditions right here. Like Zapdos and Scissor are stopping my Kurtana, as well as my Scissor. I mean, Heatran also stops my Scissor too. And then obviously Landorus and Bulu give my Coco some trouble. So kind of unsure about how I want to go about this. Going to have to get some predictions right with my Typhlosion, of course. I'm really anticipating potentially a like maybe a Lando lead by my opponent here. And I do want to find out whether it's Scarf right away. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off here with my Coco. Let's find this out right here, so they're actually not Choice Scarf, so they're probably going for Rocks here is what I would have to guess. Uh, so I'm just going to U-turn out here. They decide to go out into Tapu Bulu, I guess maybe anticipating a Hidden Power Ice. Now, I don't know whether they would be Leftovers or what's going on right here. I'm going to go Typhlosion initially, and this is where I kind of have to make a prediction. They are Leftovers, okay, so if they have Protect right here, they can Scout. I'm going for Eruption, yeah, they do have Protect, so I'm glad I clicked Eruption initially. And uh, now that they know what move I'm going for, I'm just going to go out here into my Lander's T as my opponent decides to go out into Heatran and just kind of force my rocks right now. Actually, I'm going to Earthquake initially in case they want to stay in as they do and give me 77%. That's really good for me, especially because I can follow it up with my own rocks here and basically... Basically, like, I get to pressure Zapdos now for Kurtana, which is really good. So, Lander's comes out right here. I will take the time to hit and power ice this for my... I'll live anything right here, and I'll take the time to hit and power ice it for my Kurtana's Leaf Blade. So yeah, that's some really good damage right there. They may go for a regular Fly, potentially. I'm going to U-turn out here. Smackdown is not going to knock me out. It puts me in range of my of their Stealth Rocks, though, which is a little bit tough for me. So I could potentially get Typhlosion back out here. Hmm. I would be having to hit Focus Blast, which is not a good strategy, I think. Uh, that heat turn is a problem. I'm really glad they earth let me earthquake it, but it's still like not the best matchup. Bulu is another option here for sure. I do have protect and whatnot to stop fly. Let's do that. Let's go Bulu here. And uh, what I'm thinking I want to do initially is just go ahead and horn leech. They should switch out, but on the off chance they want to go for like fly here, that's fine. Scissor comes out. That's totally cool. Allows me to go ahead and I think I just sack off my lander's T to rocks here. And I'm still seeing how trouble. I'm still having trouble regarding how I'm gonna break through this team. Okay, they didn't go for an SD or anything, so I get to bring in Typhlosion again. And I'm thinking they'll probably just sack off their Heatran if anything. So I'm just gonna go right here for a Focus Blast into that. You should always go Heatran here. You don't give me anything else on your team. I guess Lander. This would make sense too. I missed there. I have to hit this next one. I don't have a good switch in here. Like I could go Scissor. It just invites in Heatran. Okay, they go back to Bulu, and uh, because of that, I basically got nothing out of that. I mean, they guess Lander is dies to rocks now, which is really nice, but they get to sack that off next time, which is kind of lame. I mean, here I can just go Scissor, as my opponent decides to go for Protect. I actually think Scissor might be one of my better ways of winning this game, so I'll go right here for a U-turn into the, into the Lando sack. Okay, so Scissor has potential here, so does Kurtana. I'm thinking maybe Zapdos or Keldia would come out. Yeah, so Ke Zapdos comes out here. I mean, I can just go Coco on Zapdos. Defog might be better for me to be in, in the long run of things right here. So right now, I'm just going to fire off my Gigavolt Havoc. They should go with Bulu, but on the off chance they want to stay in, that would be cool with me because, like, Bulu would give me my, my Typhlosion. So I'm actually really surprised that they did that right there. Hmm. I'll get in Scissor here. And what's the end game I'm going for is what I'm trying to figure out here. I'm thinking I just have to try to go in with Typhlosion, get the plays right. Superpower is not a big deal. I'll go right here for a U-turn. 
if Typhlosion comes out, I get to make another prediction. I mean, Zapdos comes out. So yeah, I get to bring in Typhlosion again, and once again, it's just a prediction game. Do I go for Eruption or Focus Blast? I'll, I'll go for a uh, Focus Blast here. Keldeo comes out and takes 58. That's totally cool with me. I have a really good response here in my Bulu. So this Keldeo is no longer a switch into Typhlosion, so that's really nice. Ghost for Scald. Burn is a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, they have Zapdos, Heatran, and Scissor for me, so... I mean, it's not the biggest deal. I'm just going to go ahead and Horn Leech here in case they try to double stall, exp yeah, doing that, expecting that Typhlosion. I go ahead and knock that thing out. Okay, cool. And uh, because this Pokemon actually doesn't do anything for me, I'm just going to Superpower here. And uh, basically now I get to spam fire type attacks with my Typhlosion for no reason. So this is probably going to try to SD sweep me right now is what I'm thinking. I'll go out here into Coco on that. Okay, so all I need to do is getting Typhlosion and I'll be fine. So I'm going to defog these hazards away to start. And I don't think my opponent can beat Typhlosion anymore. It eruptions the last three mons and just wins. We know this is lefties. It'll definitely outspeed Zap. I'll go ahead and just Thunderbolt here. Do some good damage. I'm never risking my Typhlosion. That thing comes in and eruptions three times per game. Goes right for the Heat Wave. That's fine. You know what? I guess I can get in Typhlosion here. On the roost. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because I'll get to click Eruption here anyway. And I just won the game. Now that's going to Oko and none of these last two Pokemon can take an Eruption right there. So I think uh, that we saw that this was lefties and I have six Eruptions left in me. That's going to knock that out. And Scissor will not be able to beat my, my Typhlosion here. So I'll Eruption that. Bullet Punch will not do the job. And Typhlosion's able to go ahead and sweep the first game right there. So looked really bad at preview, but my opponent gave me some of their best Typhlosion switch-ins with Keldeo and... He trained a little bit early in my opinion, so that worked out for us, and I'll be right back with another game. Alright, I got the next game right here. This one looks like it's probably some sort of Sash Lando lead setup spam sort of thing going on here. So maybe what I can do is just go ahead and lead off with my own landers and try to trade rocks. Because they should try to get up rocks initially. An alternative right here would just be going for Hidden Power Ice and trying to defog later. I like that better right here in all honesty. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And try to maybe defog. Well, the problem with defogging in this game is I need Coco for the Halucha in every scenario. So I might have to just force the rocks right here and just let Typhlosion take the rocks damage. As much as I hate doing that. Another option would be you turning out into Typhlosion and just claiming a kill early. Uh, what am I actually interested in doing? I'm going to go for the rocks initially. And because they can't actually touch me, I'm going to go right here for a slow U-turn on potentially a Swords Dance and get in Typhlosion. And force my kill right here. I'm thinking that's what's going to happen. And uh, they don't switch into anything. I guess maybe Snorlax can take one. They explode. Does absolutely nothing. Weakens me for Mawile and the Kartana, though. So we trade rocks. I still don't see what I'm going to defog on because the moment Coco takes damage, Halucha beats it. So that's a giant threat. Kartana comes in here. I don't really care if he knocks out my Landorus at this point. I just want the U-turn to, to Scissor. So Leaf Blade comes out, knocks me out. Not the best. I could try to defog on this. It could be Scarf for all I know. Maybe I should have kept Landorus around, because like I could have gotten up rocks again, whereas their rocker is gone. It's okay, though. I think what I want to do right here is... So they should be Scarf, is what I'm thinking. Let me calc against defensive Landorus. 48%. Let's see, do they have to be Scarf or Bandit for that? Kurtana, OU Choice Scarf. Could that do 47? I gotta make sure to get rid of Intimidate, too. Select a defensive Landorus. Leaf Blade would be doing... At neutral... So yeah, so they could actually knock me out with that uh, Choice Scarf right there. So I'm thinking there's Scarf. I'm going to go Scissor right here and go off of that. And uh, what I'm thinking I want to do is just go right for a U-turn as their Coco comes out. Okay, so Coco is not a big deal. Allows me to go ahead and bring in my Kartana here. So I'm thinking I might just want to Smart Strike initially because it hits everything else too. Yeah, so they give me the... Co Never mind. I actually expected that to go down, but I guess it doesn't. Like I said, though, I can Smart Strike here, and they are not beating me with the Halucha. Like, Coco will take... I guess if they're Poison Jab, I'll lose, but... If they're not Poison Jab, I'll be fine. People don't usually run Poison Jab, they usually run Roost and whatnot. Mawile comes in, this thing is a threat. I'm gonna SD up here, I guess. Uh, so, ter if Terrain goes down at any point, I can just not have to care about the Halucha anymore. So, I'm gonna go Coco here on the SD and fire off my Gigavolt Havoc here. I think that's a good play. And then 
Like, even though Halucha could be a problem, potentially, uh, that's not going to knock me out. I get to Giga Voltavic there and knock that out. Cool. And now I'm never setting up train again. I'm never going to do it. And I guess Cortana would have to come out here and try to attack me. Yeah. I'll just go defensive scissor. It takes every hit and wins the game at this point. Uh, crits me, which is a little bit annoying, but I'll go for a roost here. And then if Snorlax comes out, I think I'd just go Typhlosion to make sure that that thing can't set up on me. As it does, because I don't want Scissor taking a Fire Punch since it wins the game on its own right now, so... I'm gonna go Typhlosion here. On potentially a, a Belly Drum? That's not gonna matter, I have a Specs Eruption coming your way. And let's see if it can Oko a, a Snorlax right here, this is really bulky. So if this Okos, that would be very cool. Uh, it doesn't Oko, okay, never mind. Unfortunately, uh, this Pokemon could not do it. I mean, right here I can just go probably... So I don't want to actually lose to the Halucha outside of terrain or anything like that. Huh. Tough scenario. Okay, so I gotta maybe keep Scissor healthy. I just need damage on this for Cortana. I mean for Scissor, that's the main thing. So maybe just Bulu coming out here is my best play. Yeah, I think uh, Bulu and just clicking Horn Leech is not a bad decision here. No, this still gives the Halucha setup, which is like a giant threat. Uh, what can I do to prevent? I think I, has, no, I can't SD up. I have to Horn Leech. Okay, they actually lived. That's best case scenario. Nice. Because now I just go Scissor and they can't beat Scissor. So I'm actually thinking, do I U-turn or do I Bullet Punch? I think I'll just Bullet Punch it. Knock that out. And I don't think they can beat Scissor with the remainder of their team. Halucha has to come out, right? So now what I do is I just SD up on it. As they do the same, they're going to do zero damage to me, and I'm going to do a lot of damage to them. So let's go ahead and bullet punch right here. For 70%. I just bullet punch again. Uh, Secret Sword, can that beat me? I might lose to Sacred Sword. Ah, no, Scissor will eat one from 30. Scissor will eat a Sacred Sword from 30%, and I just roost up here. They need to crit me right now. Yep, there we go. And Scissor is going to be able to win this game. So my opponent's going to go ahead and forfeit, and I'm surprised that Snorlax ate that up so well from Specs Typhlosion, but we were able to go ahead and win at the end, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, my next opponent here is really weak to my SD Mega Scissor. In fact, it just goes in right here. Unfortunately, the Rotom Wash is a thing, but that's their only fire resist, so if they give me damage on that, Scissor can win this game. That's all things I'm looking at right here. I'll lead off here with Lander's T on Lopunny. That should be their lead initially, just to pressure something with Fake Out. And if I can get that Rocky Helmet ship, that would be cool. I do want to attempt to get up my rocks here, so yeah, they go for Fake Out. So I'm thinking they'll probably go out into Rotom Wash, if anything, so I could just go right here for a U-turn. Lander's T is not a big deal. 4%, can I get any intel on that based on 4%? Because if I can get in Typhlosion right now, I would love that. So 4% from defensive Lander's T, can I get anything off of that? I feel like it's too little damage to actually find out anything. So U-turn would do... Well, I guess it's probably then, uh, like, a, some sort of offensive Lando. Huh, minus one zero attack to a defensive Lando would still do 5.2. And I did four. So they're, like, max his def? What's up here? I'm very confused, but I feel like they're de defensive Lando, so I'm going to go here into tie. And I this should be defensive based on that damage, right? They intimidated me. And my defensive Lando did 4%. I'm clicking Eruption here and blowing this thing away, yeah. Nice, so we get rid of that thing. And I figured based on that damage, they had to be defensive. So right here, the interesting scenario is I could Eruption this for 60% and then Scissor could probably just win the game. I think Coke was a smarter play here. As a Willow comes out, a little bit surprised that was the play of choice. So I'm kind of worried about the Tyf about the Magirna, I mean. Right here, I'll just go right for a Gigavolt Havoc. They give me the Rotom. Never mind, I did 82 and they recovered. That really sucks because I needed that damage for Scissor. I was kind of hoping it would Oko, but I guess I got damage out on anyway. It's not a Typhlosion switch in anymore. Kiram comes in. I can just U-turn out on Kiram. Into potentially... So I'm thinking maybe I'll just sack off Lando, but that's one of my better responses to Lopunny and Cart. Bulu right here really does nothing based on what I see. Yes, yeah, so I'll just go Bulu right here on the sub, and... Like, I'll just SD up. They freeze me, which means they get to stay behind a sub now. I guess, like, I could have protected and then done some things, but I guess I'll protect here. 
Yeah, the fact that they're behind a sub right now is, like, very lame. I'll go scissor here. They need to freeze me again. And they don't freeze me. That does so much damage. Why? I'm gonna go right here for a... Uh, I'm thinking a U-turn is not bad on the Rotom. I got a crit on Rotom there, which is really good. And, in fact, I can just bring out Teflosion now and throw off another one of these eruptions, so... Yeah, catch me doing that, getting rid of Rotom. Lopunny has to come back. So I'm thinking Landorus right here is not a bad play. The Kirin double does not matter. I will always Earthquake to prevent a sub here. Yeah, you feel free to knock me out, man. I'm going to get another kill with my Typhlosion here. Just go for Eruption. Uh, never mind. I really expected that to Oko. How much? This should knock it out. Get rid of that. 26 base power. I should have gone for Fire Blast. I'm really surprised that lived. So at this point, I think I just sack this Mon off. Yep, that can knock me out. Huh. So Scissor can come in here. I think Scissor is going to be my play. I'm just going to roost up on it. Magirna comes in. I'm just going to SD up. Uh, could that matter? No, because once I get damage on, the Sacred Sword is going to win the game. So I just go for this now. I go for a Thunderbolt here. Do the damage that I need for Sacred Sword. And I think it might come down to a cart speed type, potentially. Because this knocks this out. And then, actually, I think I win. Because their Kartana cannot knock me out with Scarf, Sacred Sword. So yeah, I'm able to go ahead and win that game at the end there. Got super scary. Lots of hacks in that game right there. But we get some more points, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got another game right here. And my opponent has a Volcanion, unfortunately. Which is something I never really thought about. But that does switch into Typhlosion relatively well. Especially if it is an Assault Vest set. So I gotta keep that in mind. In terms of my end game right here, Kratana looks great. Gotta keep my Coco healthy for their Halucha once again. And SD Mega Scissor right here just looks like it has a lot of potential too. Especially with Typhlosion pressuring that Volcanion very nicely. So, right here, I'm thinking a really good lead on my part could be... So, I'm really expecting Landorus lead from them, right? So, a Typhlosion would not be a bad lead, but if there's Scarf, that could be bad for me. I'll lead off here with... Uh, I don't want to let Coco get weakened for the Halucha. I'm going to lead off here with Landorus. And maybe they'll lead off with either Clef to get up their Ox, or maybe Landorus. So, right here, uh, how fast would Volcanion have to be to... It would need max speed Timid. I'm going to go for this right here. And they give me so much damage on Volcanion right away. Worthy trade in my opinion. I will take that any day right there. So right here what I think I want to do is maybe bring out my Coco. And I'm thinking I'll just Thunderbolt right here. No point in letting Coco take all this damage. Clefable comes in. I'm going to Electrium Z right here. They go for Protect, but they're not going to recover after this. So I'll just go for another Thunderbolt. Like Landorus does not matter to me. I'll go here into... Like, Scissor prevents this, the Clef from recovering, so I'll just go Scissor. Earthquake is my opponent's play of choice. I'll just go for a Roost here. Rocks decide to go up. Rocks are annoying. Yeah, that's something I kind of did not consider. Something here, I'll just go... Oh, it's I, Papa Berry. Rip all my progress. Man, that's so sad. I thought I had that Volcanion in a good spot, and it's the 50% Berry. I'm going to Defog here on this Lando, and then you turn out. And I'm getting in Typhlosion right now. I gotta start playing offensively. Yep, I, I figured Rocks would be the play. So right here, I can just go right for an eruption. And because we know it's 50% Barry on that Tyf on that Volcanion, I can go ahead and start to wear that down for this Typhlosion late game. How healthy is Coco? 87. So it's still healthy enough for the Halucha, which is really good for me. Clef decides to get sacked right there, which is very valuable. Uh, I guess Coco would come out here, right? Coco's a problem, actually. I just I just saw that. Hmm. So is Scissor. I'm really surprised they played their Clef like that, though. Like, why would you risk that? There, I should have regular Thunderbolted and then into and then gone for the Z after. But I really think that they might have just gone for Rocks. They didn't have Rocks up there yet, did they? Yeah, they didn't. So Volcanion comes out. This thing is a threat. Uh, I'm gonna pivot to Bulu on the Fire type attack. I mean, the Steamer option. They're really Fire Blasted. Oh, they sludge waved. Okay. So they like hard predicted that Pokemon to come in. Yeah, so I'll go Coco here. And uh, what I'm thinking I'll do is just defog on the landers. And I'll just U turn out here. And try to get in. I'm thinking Teflosion again here makes a lot of sense. So sludge wave is actually not a bad play. I'm going to go scissor. Yeah, because they go for earthquake. And that's able to work out better for me. I'll get in Teflosion now on the rocks. And. Just go right for another eruption here. So at the worst case, like, I get rid of Landorus here, which is really valuable. When I defog, I've defogged. That's it. So Volcanion kind of has to come back, yeah. 
Do I keep in Teflosion again? I don't know. Do I check off Scissor? Scissor's a good check to his Scissor. Maybe Coco. I'm tempted to stay in here. In case they mess up again. Can I beat their Scissor with that Teflosion? I don't think I can. But at the same time, I need all of my other Pokemon. Coco... At this point, Coco is not a Halucha check, is it? I just realized I'm not going to be able to beat that. I'm going to have Eruption here and see how much it does. 27, Flamethrower comes out. Okay. So now I think that I saw Flamethrower is their play. So I'll just go for Eruption again here. Like, they're letting me weaken them for Scissor, which is so good. Like, just go for Steam Eruption. That's definitely what you should be doing. Coco comes out and takes... Do you guys see Eruption at base 62 power to 76%? That's so funny. Okay, so this thing's in range of Bullet Punch now. So Vulcanian is weakened to 2. Uh, I'll get in Coco here. Gigavolt Havoc knocks me out. Do I go for Kurtano or Scissor here? We'll get in Scissor and... So I'm thinking I should just maybe Bullet Punch? And knock that out? Okay. This is probably an L right here. I think I messed up. Uh, is there any other way I can come out on top? I gotta suck off Typhlosion here, right? And then maybe just lose to Scissor? <laughs> I don't know, what, do I, what can I do right here? I can maybe... So if I suck off Scissor, then go Typhlosion and knock them out with Focus Blast, they would go... They would probably... I don't know what they would do at that point. I could go Kurtana and do the same thing as well. Kurtana, Sack, bring in Typhlosion, go for Focus Blast, knock this out. Can Scissor maybe solo the rest? I'm gonna go for that. Okay, take my Cortana. I gotta hit this Focus Blast right here. And I gotta hit it well. I don't think you're going hard, Halucha, this turn. I wish I had Empowered Grant. Actually, I, I wish I had Focus Blast here because I could actually beat the Halucha. Do you go hard Halucha right now? I think that's what actually he's gonna do, because if you stay in right here, then you're giving me an opening with my scissor. You should go hard Halucha. I'm gonna focus blast on the choke. I, if they go hard Halucha, I lose anyway. They go hard Halucha, yeah, so I can't beat it. Because I have to go scissor here again. Had a fire blasted right there, Vulcanian comes back in, forces the kill, and then I lose, so... Actually, I have to stay in here. Like, I have no, re I have no business switching out. Yep, knocks me out. I have to, I have to attempt to SD up. And then somehow crit through Vulcanian. I don't know. Yeah, they just knocked me out. GG, man. I definitely got messed up right there. I think I played my early game a little bit badly between the Coco and the Landers. Maybe I should have keeping those healthy. I don't know. I feel like as though, like, the Aya Papa Berry made the big difference, right? I saw that Vulcanian was the problem, but unfortunately it just got all its health back because I didn't knock it out when I weakened it, so... A little bit unfortunate, but I'll be right back with another game. Okay, my next opponent here has a Volcarona, which this team does not beat. I'm thinking Kira and Black would be their lead. I'm not going to check the DMs on screen, but I'll lead off here with my my Typhlosion as Excadrill leads, okay? I'll go here into Landorus T as rocks initially go up. They hate rocks more than me 100%, so I'm going to get mine up here too as an Iron Head comes off. I'm going to go ahead and keep on clicking rocks here. Yeah, my, I'm always going to click rocks here. The moment, like, my rocks are staying up whether you like it or not. So, I mean, like, I really need to pressure these two, so. I'm going to go ahead and rocks up again. They may try to rapid spin here, I guess. No, they just knocked me out. Okay, so this is not that bad for me. Do I just go Cortana here and win? <laughs> With Smart Strike. No, they still have a Cortana of their own. Never mind. Huh, so I can go Typhlosion here. And uh, what I'm thinking I'd just do is click Eruption and blow that away, yeah. So, Kieran Black... Hmm, what? It lived on one, but I... Do I knock it out with this next one? I think I do. Okay, so I knock it out with them. I base 12 power Eruption right there. Metacham comes in. I mean, at this point, I just throw this out, I think. Yeah. And uh, don't I just go Coco now and click, like, attacks four times in a row and win? <laughs> I think so. I'm going to go right here for a Gigavoltavic. Knock that thing out. I guess Scarf Cart would be the one issue. Feeny comes in. It's going to try to defog, I guess. Going to Thunderbolt it on the defog, and... I don't know. I don't want to lose to Cartana, but I don't see how I don't now. 
I mean Volcarona, sorry. I think Volcarona is just going to beat my team down. Man, I hate Volcarona. It's such like a... I don't like facing that thing. I'm going to go right here for a U-turn. Into my cart. On the Moonblast. And I'm just going to go ahead and knock this out with Smart Strike, I think. Nice. So I get rid of that there. Volcarona comes in. I got to hope I can 2-hit KO here. Nice, I do. And because Misty Train is up, I can't get burnt. So it looks like I'll be able to win this game. Cortana comes in. I'll just go Scissor. Sacred Sword is not doing enough. And it looks like I was able to beat the Volcarona team in the end. Really surprised Kieran Black took that eruption, by the way. My opponent's going to go ahead and forfeit, so that's very cool. And I'll be right back with the one final game. Okay, so this will be our final game right here. Gyarados is a threat. Landorus is also a problem, but... Specs Eruption looks great. I do want to get up rocks early, if at all possible. I'm thinking they'll lead off with the Landers right here, so I'm going to go at it with Coco. So it looks like my Electric Surge went up first, which means they're just going to prioritize rocks right here. I'm going to go right for a U-turn. I don't know if they would actually stay in, expecting Specs HP Ice. This was a pretty obvious lead. Maybe I should have just let off with something that could prevent rocks. Nothing does, though. That's the thing. So I'll get a Teflosion here. They just Earthquaked right away. Wow, I got messed up. But they don't get rocks up now. Oh wait, never mind. I can't kill this with anything. <laughs> that really sucks. I actually wish I should have actually thought about that. Like I was willing to go Typhlosion and sack it in case they earthquake, but the fact that I can't kill it with anything now is uh, really bad for me. I'll go right here back to cart and I mean I'll go to cart and just go for Leaf Blade now. Zapdos comes in. Are they not rocks? Like what's up with that? So I'm thinking I'll just get in my my Coco here. Heat wave comes out. Unfortunately for my opponent, they miss. They shouldn't stand right here. They should go Landorus T. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt a rocks trade right here. That's okay with me. Coco is my new win con here, so I got to try to do that. So here I can just U-turn. I still can't kill this. Like, this is a problem. I can't, why is my team so weak to Landorus T? Huh. Okay, so Leaf Blade's not going to... Can Leaf Blade do 73? Cartana. So let's see right here. Choice Scarf against Landorus T. Just an offensive set. Now it's not going to kill it even with that. Intimidate gone. Yeah, unfortunately, what I'm going to... What I have to do right here is... Go Bulu. Double back to Lando. on the explosion and then get out of there like that so now the problem i'm seeing is like i'm pretty weak to gyarados and some other things but grassy train is really helpful here so this thing comes out i'm just gonna stay in yeah that knocks me out it's a speed boosting set i'm not gonna go out into my pokemon immediately just because i want them to kind of be baited to stay in so i mean let's kind of think about this while i'm doing this so landers is gone coco wins on its own right now so that's going to be a priority for me. I'm going to go out here into my Cortana and click knockoff. Okay, so if I can actually break through right here, I'm not going to outspeed anyway. Crap, man. I'm going to go Coco. And just Thunderbolt it, I think. I need my Z for that Magirna. Coco is such a big threat to their team right here. They suck off Gren, not quite sure what the mindset is. That lived, but it didn't kill me back. I'll Thunderbolt this. We clearly know it's speed boosting. Everything dies, right? Yeah, I think I win. Because, I'm first of all, I'm surprised that lived the attack, but either way, I don't think like, my opponent can win this game at this point. Yep, I knocked that out. I still have another turn of terrain here. I think what I'll do is you turn out and then maybe... I just gotta get Coco back in under terrain and I Thunderbolt three times. That's all I have to do here. This should not live. Yep, goes down, and now they definitely lose. Like, I don't know why that play came out. I mean, yeah, I can just Thunderbolt here. I gotta be careful about potentially a Blissef. Yeah, because that did live. Wow, I think I just lost. Nope, I'm fine. I see. I see the end game right here. Blissef will be in range of this this attack the moment I go for it. 3% and I just lost the game. Did I? I think I win anyway. 
Yeah, because that lives, and then Gyarados has to come out. And then they trapped their Earthquake. Yeah, so I won anyway. I was really surprised Blacephalon took that plus two bullet punch. That got so scary. I knew Coco could do it, but I forgot that I forgot about the Mega mainly. Like I should have U-turned out on that turn and just brought Coco back in and I would have won. Nearly took that away, but we were able to go ahead and end off the live right there with another win. Did hope you all enjoyed. Had a ton of fun, as I said. The team will be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out. And I'll see you next time. Later.